Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Andrea Speaks TV. I'm your host, Andrea, and I'm back to bring you news and commentary you can use. Listen, I hope you're doing well. I hope your family is doing well. And as always, thank you, thank you so much for continuing to support me here on this channel. Listen, y'all, I just want to come on uh, really quickly and let you know, okay, listen, y'all, sometime when I don't put the title um, in the video, look for the little, what do you call them, emojis, and you can get an idea of what I'm talking about, okay? So y'all already know I'm back to talk about another thing that they're coming out with, y'all. Listen, you need to know about this, okay? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. That will give me feedback on the video. That will let me know that you support the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, I want to invite you to subscribe, okay? Listen, y'all, there is another type of thing, a Harriet. Y'all, y'all know what I say, right? Listen, and now, Okay, they're saying that it makes up 25% uh, of the new C word cases. Okay, are y'all following along to see what I'm talking about here? Listen, according to the CDC, that's the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention data, shows that a new C word type of thing, okay, known as KP.3. Okay, you want to research that, y'all. KP.3 is rising to dominance across the United States. Y'all, there's so many different things going on. If you uh, follow the channel and you look at the community tab, you see that I have posted several stories, some that are happening here in Georgia, some that are happening in other states, even across the world, y'all. So many things are going on right now, okay? Um, that I said, wait a minute, what else is going on? What else are they doing that they haven't told us about yet, but we need to know, and this is one of those stories, okay? Listen. They're saying this new thing, okay, is is uh, rising to dominance across the United States. Listen, y'all, according to my sources, for the two-week period starting on May the 26th and ending on June 8th, uh, the agency data shows that KP.3 accounts for 25% of what they're saying are the new C-word cases, okay, that thing that started the pandemic, right, in the U.S. and is now the dominant variant, okay, if you go back and look on the channel, you see I've talked about the... Did I say the word, y'all? Oh, my goodness. Well, y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Listen, sometimes this platform don't like for you to say certain words, okay? That one just slipped out. But listen, y'all y'all already know, okay? Listen, you know I have talked about the different types of things that have um, been, you know, occurring, right? This is the newest one they're saying, y'all, okay? Now, it says it knocks down the previous front runner. JN.1, which spread globally last winter. I talked about that here on the channel, okay? KP.2 is right after KP.3 and now makes up 22.5% of cases, okay? Now, the, uh, the CDC is using what's known as a NowCast data tractor. I'm sorry, the CDC is now using what's called a NowCast data tracker to project the C word, V word, over a two-week period, the tool is used to help estimate current prevalence of the different types of things, but does not predict future spread of the thing, okay? Um, so, listen, y'all, this is very concerning. Um, I'm just reading some information right here. Uh, listen, here in the state of Georgia, I just saw an article where um, they're actually taking away uh, some of the testing sites for this thing, okay? So with this new um, type being on the rise, I'm not sure that, what that will mean for other areas, okay? Now they're saying that although the rates for losses of life and hospitalizations have declined significant, significantly as it relates to that C word, the data, according to my sources, also shows that the rates for positive tests and emergency room visits are on the rise, okay? Um, the CDC recently reported on June 4th that the C word infections are growing or, or are likely growing in 30 states. Okay. Now they're also talking about another thing in the, you know what, that are, is supposed to be uh, coming out this fall. Um, they have a committee y'all. They have a committee known as the V word and related biological products advisory committee. Um, health experts from the V word manufacturer, Pfizer, Moderna, Novavax, each told the panel that they were prepared to make the JN1 targeted V word 
available in August pending FDA approval. Okay, now to go along with this story, y'all, okay, I mentioned it on the community tab. Do you all know that Dr. Fauci, okay, I don't know if he's still <coughs> going before the, excuse me, I don't know, hold on, let me get some water, y'all. I don't know if his hearing is still going on, but he recently went before uh, a hearing before a committee and he was giving some information regarding the origins of uh, the C word and all of that. And, you know, for many people, it was quite shocking. Many people were like, hey, you know, we've been saying this all along. Why didn't people listen? People wanted to say it was a conspiracy theory. But listen, you got that situation going on, right, with Dr. Fauci. And then they're saying that, hey, this new thing is already here. Okay, what's really going on with that, y'all? Um, so uh, li listen to this here. Something else that we may want to look ahead and prepare for, right? They're saying that the updated V word are set the thing in the, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? They're set to be released in the fall ahead of what they're saying is expected winter upticks in the C word, okay? So uh, let's, you know, it seems like we need to anticipate them continuing on with this, okay? Regardless of how you feel about it, um, you know, there are a lot of people who were affected by this or people who lost their life. And it seems like, you know, many of the truths are coming out, okay? Um, continue to, are there some things that, you know, regarding this that can be out of our control that can be said to be out of our control? Yes, they are. But what can, uh, what are some things, maybe possible suggestions? Okay. I'm not here to tell you what you should do, should or shouldn't do. Maybe make some suggestions. Okay. Take care of yourself, drink water, eat foods that are healthy, eat foods that uh, do you well, do you good, that make you feel good, give you energy um, and things like that. Just a few things. By all means, is this not the end all be all list, but just a few suggestions. Okay. Get out, get some sunlight. Um, there are times when I haven't felt as well, but as soon as I got outside and the sunlight hit me, okay, I started to feel better, okay? But listen, y'all, let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, thank you so much for supporting me here on the channel. Another thing, y'all, when this, it seemed like it just continues, right? Uh, but what are your thoughts, okay? Let me know. Thank you so much for supporting me here on Andrea Speaks TV. See you in the next video.